Hey, how's it going friends? My name is Angel Alex and welcome back to the channel. We are back with some more of The Witcher 3. Last episode, we completed another side quest with Ceres called Possessions. And I believe before we start getting back into the main quest, there is another quest that recently popped up after Possessions. So this quest popped up just recently and it's basically to collect my reward for helping out Ceres. So let's go ahead and start this quest. Master Geralt, a guard spotted you from the tar. They sent me to open the gate. Why was it closed? Is that famous Skellige hospitality? Me? It is tradition. After the feast, the Jarls will choose the king, so the doors must remain closed. Only the sons and daughters of Skellige may stay in the castle. Uh, maybe I'll stop by some other time. Croc made an exception for me. Croc make an exception just for me? All know what you did for Ceres and Yalmar. Today, you're one of us. No. Come. Croc awaits. Alright. Let's go. How's the mood in there? Calm. Too calm. How's that? We've an adage here at Skellige. At a good feast, meat and blood flow in equal measure. Surely you consider this barbaric on the continent, no? Not sure. Sounds preferable to dull banquets garnished with court intrigue. I have as much right to it as you do. And I'd expect you to support me, not pinch my allies. If an aunt crates to wear the crown, it should be you, because you've got fur growing on your chin, that it. <laughs> Show some of your own, and the arms just might listen to you. What your mug smacked? Remember, I was left standing last time we crossed fists. <laughs> yeah? So you'll fight the Vilgarns with me? Wonder who'll do better? You? Or Yalmar, the giant slayer? Oh, stop uh, your shite boasting. Maybe we shouldn't have given him the glory. Cyrus! Hey! God damn it! Bad way to play it out. Think I don't know that? But you saw her, she sold. My stubborn, fierce, mule-headed, refuses to listen to anyone. Exactly! <laughs> <laughs> True, Arnvald. Me and Ceres, and they're twins in that regard. Don't see Krach. He talking to the Arls? No, went to his chambers. To prepare your promised reward, no doubt. If you've a spell witch, or perhaps you'd fancy some fisty cups with the Vilcarls. Loosen up your joints after your journey. Maybe later. All right. We're gonna find Croc then. Greetings, Berna. Feast not to your liking. This is no feast. It's a farmer's market, where votes are bought and sold like sheepskins. Svanrig is not gonna vie for support. Bran's son will not haggle for a crown that is his by right. Far as I know, crown goes to the claimant who gains the most votes. That is the tradition, but not all traditions are good. The Isle's care should be entrusted to a single family. What's wrong with voting for your king? Take a walk, listen and you'll understand. The claimants already hand out land, promise privileges, titles, favorable judgments. They behave like whores lifting their skirts for every passerby. A king by the grace of votes is no ruler, but a debtor. This must end. We must start by placing Bran's firstborn son on the throne. I hope the Jarls will see the wisdom of it. Leaving Kertrolda? Tomorrow at daybreak. Enjoy yourself, Master Geralt. Steven, come! I've been waiting for you. So, oh, my. feast to your liking? Any better than your continental balls? Definitely more to drink. Ah, there is. Rolled all of it out of my cellars. Double meads, triple, Cintrian plum brandy, the hackamum spirit that burns the mouth like boiling water. Clan on Crate knows the meaning of hospitality. 
Something tells me there's a purpose to your hospitality. Aye, there is. In the Isles, mead and mead stand to gain you as much support as feats accomplished blade in hand. If that's true, you can rest easy about how the vote will turn out. I'll rest easy on the morrow, when the crown rests on one of my children's heads. Feeling torn between Yalmar and Ceres? You mean, do I have a favorite? Nay. They're as different as fire and water. But on great blood flows in both. That's good. I'm glad he's not, you know, against his daughter uh, trying to become king or queen. Between you and me, Yalmar's not too hot-headed to be king. Depends on the kind of king you have in mind. Want one who'll send emissaries, move figurines about a map, calculate the most profitable option? And yes, he's too hot-headed. But Skelliger wants a different ruler, the kind who'll drown Nilfgaard in blood. Sooner jump into a fire than surrender. And that is Yalmar. If you escalate your attacks, you stand to infuriate Amir. Could regret it someday. In Skelliger, we spit on the notion of peace at any cost. Think the Council of Jarls will dare to put a woman on the throne? If you'd asked me some months ago, I'd have laughed in your face. But now? But today I see, and I'm not alone, that Ceres has something as rare on the Isles as a hot summer. Patience. Others act, then think. She's different. She thinks things through, the for, the against. But once she takes action, not a force in the world could stop her. I'm leaning more towards Ceres just because I saw the way she handled the situation we were in and she handled it very well. Um, Yalmer. Promised me a reward for helping your children. And I aim to keep my word here. This bauble's been in the family for generations. I give it to you for helping ensure the line endures. Oh. <laughs> Is that actually a good sword? Beautiful craftsmanship. Thanks. I'm the one. Ah. just happened <laughs> what cloth give me some cloth gotta stop the bleeding quick da Da. Take my cloak. <coughs> Hold on, son. You'll pull through. A shark grabbed my leg once. I'll be on. 
He's dead. <laughs> Crack! Where'd those bears come from, huh? Answer! Now! Careful how you speak to my dad. Stow your blade, pup, or Crack will lose a son too. You insult me, Lugos, and now you threaten my son. I would not stand for this. Dad, come here. Come on! Put you down like a rabid dog. Calm down. Calm down. Enough blood's been spilt. Someone brought these beasts here to murder our sons and brothers. We cannot restore their lives. But we can. We must avenge them. This burden falls upon the host and his offspring. Find the guilty on crate. Find and kill them. Else your clan will be cursed for a hundred generations to come. Got ourselves a right mess. Anybody see how the bears got in? Anybody see how the bears got in? Don't matter. I know where to find the guilty already. Wait! Are you mad? You're gonna kill folk before we've learned what happened. Learn all you want. Meantime, I'll go wash the shame off our clan. Hey, the Yards aren't listening anymore. Stop playing the hero and think for a second. Our honor's at stake, sis. I can't wait. Are you listening to me? Someone let those bears in. We must know who, and the answer lies somewhere in this room. Um, you two can handle this fine without me. I'm gonna help, Sarahs. You're right, Sarahs. I'll help you. Thanks. Fine. See you when I return with the traitor's heads. I'll stay here. Someone must see to everything. Summon the healer, hand the fallen over to their families. Wolf, I thank you. Ever see anything like that? No, and I hope I never will again. Where'd the bears come from? We were all laughing, eating, drinking. Suddenly, a massacre. Torrents of blood on the walls. What happened before the massacre? Be precise. Y young Lucas bet he could empty a barrel of beer in one go. He climbed on the table, grabbed a pony keg of centrin wheat, and started chugging. His throat bulged like a blowfish. Face went red, but he kept drinking. Folks started banging their tankers on the table, shouted, Lugos, Lugos. Then, from the other side of the room, we heard this roar. We turned in unison as if a coxswain had called. They were there. They were already there. Folks closest to the bears didn't even manage to draw their weapons. They... They were ripped to shreds. We'll avenge them, I promise. Know who died? Drogadar. Drakeborn do. Blue boy Lugos. Yalborn. Otrig. Take some time, mention them all. I heard you helped Lugos. As you helped me with the Haim. But you could name the claimants to the throne who survived in one breath. You, Yalmar, and Svanriga. What are you saying? Nothing. Just yet. Hmm. This was definitely planned. We've talked enough. Let's look around. Let me know what you find. I'll speak to the others. Maybe someone saw more than I did. Alright, let's have a look. Fang marks, claw marks, broken bones. Hard to say what exactly killed him. Altrick. Shit, no more than a kid. All right. What do we have here? Bear's head, but the tongue's short, like a human's. Mouth smells of honey liqueur. Mead. And something else. Something earthy. Bears like honey. Before it's fermented. Strange. Something under the fur. A tattoo? Shape of a bear paw. Weird. 
Old scar. Looks like it was sutured. Half man, half bear. Something like a lycanthrope. No full moon, so something else caused the transformation. Maybe something he ate, or drank. Mead. Mead with an earthy aroma. Need to check the horns, tankards, and bowls. All the horns are empty. Something I've always wondered. What'll you witchers do once there are no basilisks, lesions, or giants around? Eh? Bowl at each table. Mead in this one. And only mead. Respect, Witcher. Earthy scent from the bear's maw. Something towards mushrooms? Bowls empty, but the scent's in the air, coming from somewhere else in this room. So many wounds. No wonder Hjalborn bled to death. I want to make sure I look at everything. Drogadar. No Skald's played his last. Alright, listen bro, you don't mention Yennefer, alright? Young Lugos. Bears took him by surprise. Didn't have a chance to defend himself. Let's follow this scent. Something I've always wondered. What'll you witchers do once there are no basilisks, lesions, or giants around? Eh? Here. Mead spiked with some kind of mushroom. And... Human blood? Ceres, come here. A guard saw what happened. Those weren't bears. They were... Men who transform into bears. Uh-huh. Berserkers. Berserkers? The Skald's name for warriors who change into animals in the midst of battle. The stuff of fairy tales, legends. But it seems to make sense, right? Mm-hmm. Almost. We were at a feast, not on a battlefield. I think I know what caused them to transform. The mead they drank. Smell this. Mead spiked with blood. And something else. Thinking it could be a mushroom, but I don't recognize the type. Hjort might help us. Few druids know herbs better. Can't hurt to try. Alright. Respect, Witcher. Freyr, our mother. May the sea swallow the traitors. Freyr, our lady. Mind if I interrupt? Already have? <laughs> what is it? Someone spiked one of the mead barrels with blood and something else. An herb or a mushroom. Sarah said... Give me the horn. I know the smell. A mushroom. Mardrom. Mardrom related in any way to berserkers? Aye. But only in the tales told to children as they are put to sleep on cold winter nights. Warriors who ate Mardrom were said to transform into beasts when consumed by battle rage. But as I said, it's only... Only a legend, I know. Still, I find it easier to believe than some story about bears appearing out of nowhere. Ceres wasn't lying. You know your fungi. I do. Especially those which affect the mind, soothe it, summon waking dreams. Odalric suffered for years. 
I tried to help him in various ways, initially with prayer, then with poppy milk. But he's done with that now, right? It's not that simple. But we'll wean him off it yet. Mardrum. Never heard of it. Even another name for it on the continent. Silas I believe. All right. Peasants eat it to soothe pain. Udalric tried it too, but only a few times. In larger doses, the mushroom causes visions, nightmares. Yes, the last thing Udalric needed more of. Thanks for your help. All right. Blood and marjoram. The taste of human flesh and a substance that triggers visions. That well could have caused the rage. Maybe even the transformation. Maybe. Hard to believe someone spiked the mead here in the hall, though, in front of all those witnesses. You're right. I helped prepare for the feast. I'd have noticed. It might have happened before they brought the drink upstairs. In the cellars, maybe? Come on. We could find some clues there. All right. Must find the traitors quickly. Elsewise, the warriors will take matters into their own hands. Castle's a buzz already. Think they'd attack Croc openly? My father or each other. All in the finest Skellige tradition. Haven't had a good civil war in ages. You will. Respect, Witcher. Knew there'd be trouble. It was all too calm. Funny. Arnvold said the same. For a feast to be any good, mead's gotta flow. But so does blood. Might say he got his wish. I really hope Yalmar's doing something useful, not just looking for a fight. Relax. Your brother's impetuous, not stupid. We keep the poison at the cellar's other end, down below. Come, I'll show you. <coughs> the stench! Is that vodka? The Hackerman spirit. <coughs> Someone ruined several right barrels of the you. finest. That's a relief. <laughs> this mead's clean. And mushrooms. Think we can find out where this barrel came from? Looks different. What the? Oh shit! Shit! The spirit! There's another exit behind the barrels. Fuck. But they're too heavy. We'll never move them. Don't intend to. Quick. Desperate to bring our investigation to a quick end. Ooh, place of power. This is our passage. Should One draw from it. on that pyromaniac. Let's think. They had to use the entrance we used. Maybe they left some prints behind. Maybe. When the door slammed shut and the fire broke out, did you hear a bottle shatter too? No, but I have no witcher sense at my disposal. You must hear the hair growing on my head. <laughs> <laughs> I try not to eavesdrop. Anyway, entrance is worth checking. Come on. Is this? 
Someone walked through the mead. Of course I did. <laughs> Did you ask for clearer prints? Sticky from the mead. Trail breaks off. Need to find another clue nearby. Must have felt his clothing follow. rip, but was in a hurry. What's this? Piece of cloth. No. It can't be. What is it? Arnfeld's tunic. Only he wears this kind. Sure about that? Saw him in the main hall with the servants. Let's go. Grab a horse, we'll chase him down. Why the hell? Go, go, go. Iron Vault! Stop, damn it! Doubt he'll listen. When I get my hands on him. You don't stand a chance. Way to see you, Bork Dot! Get to kill him. Woo. I spanked his horse. Why do you betray them? Talk or I'll finish what I started. No on crit should ever sit on Skellige's throne. I know you better than others do. You're hot-headed, irresponsible. Skellige needs stability. A strong king. Not the kind a band of drunken jarls will choose. Curious. Never heard you voice that idea. But I do know one who never stops saying it. It's Bernard Brown, isn't it? You were never a good liar on vault. What was her motive? It's obvious. She schemed this up to get rid of the other claimants. Slander or clan in the process. If she succeeded, Svanriga would have been left. The only claimant to Skellige's throne. We need proof. Your word against Berna's? That's not enough. Anvald, help us. And I'll ask my dad to grant you an honorable death. I'll insist. I have letters from her. Instructions. How to poison the mead. But she never signed them. There's no seal. Will that be enough? It'll have to be. We shouldn't delay. Time to gather the orals. Jesus. All this drama. I've assembled the Jarls in council as you demanded, Ceres on Crate. You claim to know who's behind the slaughter at Kaer Trolda. Speak then. The blood of Skellige's sons and daughters. Whose hands does it stain? Boone of Brands. The lass is mad. Do you think anyone will believe you? You had them serve poison mead to the berserkers. I beg your pardon. The servants of Kaer Trolda are not mine to command. It was your father who called for the feast, who assembled the guests. There's reason in these words. Have you any proof to confirm your accusation? I've better. I've a witness. Arnvald. Zerus speaks true. Burner commanded me to poison the maid. And Cyrus and the Witcher descended into the cellars. You betrayed us. The clan that took you in! Good man. He's a servant to Ancreat, a lackey. He will say what they command him to say. He would lie for them even were he to pay for it with his head. Werner speaks true. Arnvald has served a care trolder ever since I remember. Loyally, look a dog. I can vouch for Cyrus. She's telling the truth. You? Yet another uncrate lackey. Did Ceres entice you to cooperate? I can imagine how. Or has Crack paid you to smear my name? What did you say? Calm yourselves. After what I saw on Speaker Rock, I trust the Witcher more than I do you. You've that right. But it's no proof of my guilt. Got one more piece of evidence. A letter from Berna to Arnvald, instructing him how to spike the mead. 
It lacks my signature. It lacks my seal. But perfume soaked to the parchment. A very strong scent, you know. Still to be sensed. <laughs> Is this your proof, lass? Is this what you call evidence of my supposed treason? Don't make me laugh. Burn is right, Saras. Tis all precious little proof of her wrongdoing. Alas, your brother Hjalma also has not presented anything that could clear your family's name. We've but one path left to us. Holger, Lugos, it's time we quit this damned castle. Come, we must decide what punishment Clan on Crate will face. I'm sorry, Sirius. Wait! Mother, you bade me to leave the hall before the feast. Why? Son, not now. Why did you do it? How did you know? Hi! You stand silent. You gave Ceres no credence. You gave the Witcher no credence. But you must give credence to a son who accuses his own mother. What's <laughs> it her doing? She shamed herself. Me. The family. The clan. Svanrika, I did it for you. Only for you. You admit to this deed. As the eldest of the Jarls, I cleanse the name of Clan on Crape. And you, Berna Bran, I sentence to death. You will be chained to a rock to perish of hunger and thirst, and sea fowl will peck apart your remains. Oh. Oh. Holy shit. When I had a lust for power, I knew this, but so strong as to commit such a crime. What about Svanriga? What's his fate? He'll lose his home, his name, his honor. He'll choose exile or death. But enough. Whatever comes, we must endure. I thank you, Geralt. Again? No need. Again. I'll not take any more of this modesty. This is a land of heroes. Let this remind you of that. And now, I must ride for Gedinate, for the Jarl's council. Time to pick a king. What do you think? We'll get the nod. Come with me. See for yourself. All may listen to our deliberations. Oh, 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 yeah. Let's go. I do have a horse in the race. Can't refuse, to be honest. As I thought. Well, let's go. I want to see. We're just in time. They've already started. I'm excited. Yeah, dude. I know some would see another in my place. I thank those who stood at my side. Here, beneath the sacred oak, I pledge to be a good queen to the ones and the others. I want peace and prosperity to reign in Skellige. And I count on you to help me fulfill that dream. Oh, he's up here. Alright, we got a trophy. 
congratulations. You'll make a great queen. Thank you. Wouldn't be here if it weren't for you. What's the new Queen of Skellige planning? Um, to listen, learn, and listen again. Then we'll see. Good plan. I must unite the clans. I'd rather avoid war, but if Nilfgaard aims to attack, we must repel them together. Drummond folk might be a problem. I saw Lugos during the ceremony. Furious, to say the least. There's always been strife between our clans. But I must try and talk to him. Just might bring him around. Maybe. Be careful. <laughs> Keep my fingers crossed. Farewell. You all right? So so. Anywhere you cut it, I was bested by a wench. Not just any wench. Aye, true. Suppose if it had to be so, not it was Ceres. Not even a little proud of her. Come on, admit it. I bet I. She's the blood of me blood, bone of me bone. But don't tell her I said so. Liable to puff out her chest. But you do her good now. I think about it. We showed Lugos. That's most important. Did you see that rage grip him? I thought he'd burst. Yeah, surprised to see him in that much of a half, actually. Our clans have been button heads, chests, bellies forever. It's the lay of the land. Take care, Yalmar. Looks to me you're near bursting with pride. can boast children like mine. <laughs> Shame their mother didn't live to see this. Ceres will make a good queen. Maybe she can finally unite the clans. Let's hope. And if not, she'll always have me and Yalma. If the need arises, we'll take up arms for her. Can we talk? Did you learn anything? Siri came through Lofferton. She was wounded when she arrived. Villagers nursed her back to health. Sadly, the wild hunt was on her trail. Followed her there. Siri managed to escape with the villagers. I know. We didn't finish. I later spoke to those who survived. Suffice to say, Siri was fortunate to escape. I trust you will find her soon. Druids think of Skellige's new ruler. On great blood is good blood. Yet Ceres is the first woman to rule Skellige. Ever. Not everyone's pleased. There are seven clans in Skellige. Each would like a king from their own line, but Ceres will manage. She's not as impulsive as Shalva. Thinks first, then acts. The Krach as her advisor. She has every chance to be a good queen. Congratulations. I thank you. The Skelliger Circle chose me years ago, about the time when the old disputes between the clans were reignited. Job's been mainly politics then. Aye, but I've not minded. Since time immemorial, the Druids have wandered betwixt the clans, keeping endless feuds in check. We care for equilibrium, the balance of all things, not just trout populations and streams. We're lucky the Yars always valued us as advisors. The war. Curious to know your opinion. Well, I believe Emmy has chosen a poor time to make it. Hard to find any better as I see it, with the North now in disarray. The North is weak, true. But I've the impression the Emperor is dealing with some domestic strife. Far too much to start a war. Radovid is a madman. But a cunning one. He's certain to take advantage. Let's play him in Gwent. Why not? Wouldn't happen to play Gwent, would you? Certainly. I got my first deck, oh, years ago. Back in Sintra. Proceeded to teach the game to half of Skellige. Why do you ask? 
looking to play? Let's play. Yeah, glad to play around. Okay, monsters don't have. Oh, I could use the decoys on my medic. Tris. Another decoy. Really? You're gonna be a dick. I should have scorched before. I can't. I can't use it on them. Let me take this out. Ah, oh, come on. Well, now I can't scorch. Oh, we should pass. Let's pass. Chin up. No shame in losing to me. I had shitty cards, man. Hold on. All right, we try it one more time.
knew it. Should have just passed. That's fine. Wait. No, I'll pass, I'll pass. play my spy card. I think that's my spy card. Ah, he passed. Okay, cool. Let's just play a 10. Got 10 to spare. I'll pass. This is gonna be a brutal last round. We have even amount of cards. And a D4, thank you. I'll get rid of that in a minute. Let's see what this guy's got. He doesn't have a scorch. He has a scorch. I knew it. I knew it. What a bitch. What a bitch. What else you got? Alright, he passed. We're good. We won. Alright. Take it. GG. Give me your card, sir. Congratulations. You have a good deck, but it could use a bit of supplementation. Here, take this card. Thanks. You have a knack for it. So much so you ought to challenge a crack. I gave him his deck, introduced him to the game. But the pupil has surpassed his master. There's also a we'll do that. Card, sure. but undeniably talented. All right, you guys, I think I'm going to go ahead and end the episode there. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below if you haven't yet. Check out all the links down in the description if you're interested in any of the gear I use, and I'll see you guys in the next video.